Hi there, welcome to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will see one of the most used CSS pseudo selector, nth child. The nth child selector allows you to select one or more elements based on their source order according to a formula. So, what it is formula? Let's see. Let's say we have one list item and we want to select certain elements out of those list. Then we can write down list li nth child 1. So, what this rule will select? This will select the first list item. Okay. The next is li nth child 5 and some CSS. This will select fifth list item and child five. We select fifth list item. The next one is li and child odd. What this will select? This will select every other list item starting. first okay this is very useful next one is li nth child 3n minus 2 this will select every third list item starting with first so Sometimes in CSS you might need to select the third list item and that should start from first item. So this is very useful CSS selector. The next one is li nth child 3n minus 1. Okay. This will select every third list item starting with second item so nth child 3n minus 1 and next one is class some element you can say this is the class name and nth child 3n this is something very interesting this will select every third child item as long as it has class name some element so this is the class name which we use here so as long as the element has this class it will select every third child item among the list so it is defined in the CSS selector class level 3 specification as a structural pseudo class. What does it mean? It means it is used to style content based on its relationship with parent and sibling elements. Okay, so let's see with another example. Let me just comment out. Let's say we have a grid system, uh, CSS grid, and for that, we have section okay section has some class called grid this is very common when you use the grid html in that grid we have article with class module for example and this is the first article okay and let's say we have four five five articles so this is two Three, four, and five. We have five articles. Okay. So suppose we are building a CSS grid and we want to remove the margin on every fourth grid module. So what we can do in CSS, we can select a class called module 
because we have a common class called module it will select all the module elements with nth child 4n and we can simply remove margin right 0 this will remove margin right from so this will remove margin right from every fourth grid module every fourth grid element okay. so the nth child selector takes an argument this can be a single integer as you can see here 1 5 or keyword like even odd or a formula if an integer is specified only one element is selected but the keywords or formula will iterate through all the children of the parent element and select matching elements so if you remember we use this um, similar kind of selection using navigate navigating items in javascript array so keywords e1 and odd are straightforward e1 is for 246 and odd for 135 etc so etc yeah so the formula is very common the formula is here a n plus b okay where a is something called integer value this will be an integer value n is the literal letter plus sign is an operator and maybe either plus or minus here b is an integer and it is required if an operator is included in the formula so this is very important to note that this formula is an equation and it will iterate through each sibling element and it will determine which element should be selected the end part this one the end part of the formula if it is included represents a set of increasing positive integers so in our example we selected every fourth element here yeah here that's this example we selected fourth element every fourth element with the formula 4n which worked because every time an element was checked and increased by 1 so if an element's order matches the result of the equation then it will get selected so this was a very uh, nice example of n child selector let's see with one more practical example let me remove this html let's say we have one div and uh, no not the i'm adding one more view we have one class one okay in that view we have an order list and list item let's say we have four list item and let me add some content one two three and four and let me add one ol that is order list and similarly we can add two three four four allies just add five six seven and so this is one div similarly let me copy that entire div let me just paste it and change the class name to 1 to 2 that will be another div and rest of the content is same let me again paste that div the class name is 3 and so this is 3 divs as you can see here okay so uh, we don't have that fancy css but we always can add let me add some css so it, it looks good here um, for li you can give background color uh, background slat slat gray for example and um, 
let's remove this background because we don't need to uh, add styling here mm. in the body let it be there ul in ul you can give um, this style that is none it will remove all the styling and uh, padding is also zero okay li is text align center the line height you need to give uh, let me remove this padding and margin let me give line height that is 2 and uh, background slate gray okay let me add some css for div we can give div a width so it will restrict the width 12 em okay let's give float so float left and margin right 2 em okay so this is a uh, style for div so here let's see how the css looks so as you can see the um, background color is there for all the li items you can ignore this because this is also div so css is already applying there so you just need to focus on this one so here let's write down css to select some items here one is the class it will select the first div right class name is one here so it will select the one space li and child one and let's change the background background color to light still div Let it get reload. So, as you can see, in all the allies, in all the list, the first ally is selected using nth child because we have selected the first ally, the first div, sorry. And apart from this UL, in this OL, the order list, the first ally is selected as well. So this is the first CSS. The second one is two, and uh, let's say nth child, nth child second. Let's select the second, and nth child third. And uh, let's give the same background and see. Let's open the second view. Let it reload. So, yeah, here is the second view which we have selected. So, here as you can see, first, second, third, fourth, and uh, five. Yeah, so this will not select any element from here, but here it will select first second and third so in second second number element and child 2 and and child 3 so this will select both the allies not both the allies but this specific third list item okay and uh, the next one is three i guess the class name is let me check yeah three is the class name and nth child odd and li nth child minus n plus 3 and let's use same background color and let's see Class three and in the class three CSS is applied to 
the odd elements okay let me just scroll down so here the css is getting applied to odd elements as well as minus n plus 3 so what is minus n plus 3 what does it mean so it is a selector which will select the elements based on the formula so you know you need to write down css and select the elements as per your convenience so uh, this was the basic and uh, very easy understanding of the nth child css pseudo selector i hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe see you next time thank you